1978. Almost 20 years since we first asked, is there oil and gas under the North Sea? The first well west of the Shetlands was drilled. 1975, a common market referendum. How do you find an oil field? Ask an exploration manager. In 1964, Esso and Shell pooled their money, technology and expertise for oil. Instead of producing it, with all the benefit to the country's balance of payments and security of supply. At the same time, the best method of carrying the oil ashore would be solemn vol. That alone is an investment of over 2,400 million pounds. It's also an excellent example of the industry's ability and willingness to cooperate for the common good. For storage, the composition of the seabed and so on. And 500 million pounds per platform. The largest platform in the Brent area is Cormorant A. Having drilled its wells, the platform now has other jobs to do. It has to separate and compress the gas from the field, either to send it to the mainland, or, as with Brent B, to re-inject it into the reservoir until the pipeline to take it is ready. And that brings us to the next major problem in the production cycle. Crude is piped from the platform through a seabed pipeline by Venture and the Atnav boys. The tanker jetties and harbour have been built by the Shetland Islands Council. A potential danger of which the oil companies are very conscious is pollution. Now, let's talk about money. The scope of the North Sea operation is vast. Expenditure for this one year, 360 million pounds. 